That'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 video game characters based on celebrities. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the stars who influenced or inspired roles in video games. To keep things fair, we'll be limiting ourselves to one entry per franchise. Have you ever been surprised by a celeb's face popping up in a game? Let us know in the comments if you spotted any of these. Number 20, Arthur Morgan, Toshiro Mifune, Red Dead Redemption 2. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure, I got some errands to run. Great, go check the horses already. Genres be damned, this cowboy of the Vanderlind gang may tear up the Wild West, but he was actually based upon a recurring element of classical samurai films. Roger Clark, who provided the voiceover and motion capture work for the character, channeled legendary Japanese actor Toshiro Mifune for his performance. Yeah, <laughs> One of the most prolific and recognizable actors of his time, Mifune made a name for himself portraying gruff yet unintentionally humorous warriors that went against the stereotypical clean-cut samurai. Even accounting for Morgan's intricate honor system, Mifune's influences come through loud and clear in the cowboy's blunt demeanor and wry wit. Hmm. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Number 19, Victor Sullivan, J.K. Simmons, Uncharted series. <laughs> <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Our spidey senses are tingling with this one. Nathan Drake's first world-trotting expedition debuted the same year as Spider-Man 3, and five since Simmons' iconic turn as our favorite editor-in-chief of the Daily Bugle. It seems developer Naughty Dog was as big a fan of J. Jonah Jameson as the rest of us, since Sully bears more than just a passing resemblance to the character. Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? Aside from the distinct vocal pattern and similar facial features, giving Sully a cigar is practically a dead giveaway. With a look like this, it's only a matter of time before he starts demanding more photos of Spidey. We can barely get a glimpse of him. Oh, what is he, shy? If we can get a picture of Julia Roberts in a thong, we can certainly get a picture of this weirdo. Put an ad on the front page. Number 18, Bill and Lance, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone, Contra. If you're gonna base a run-and-gun arcade game on any action heroes, it's hard to find two actors better suited for the job. During production of the game's cover art and sprite work, the team took heavy inspiration from iconic adventure films of the time like Predator and First Blood. It made for a great shoot-'em-up, but the clear inspirations meant it was hard not to see Bill and Lawrence as Dutch and Rambo instead. The game wears its influence on its sleeve, or should we say its bandana, to the point we expect them to say, get to the choppa at the end of each level. Go! Get to the choppa! Number 17, Raven, Wesley Snipes, Tekken Series. <laughs> Developer Bandai Namco may have tried to put a stake through this rumor's heart, but there's too much evidence to ignore. The shades, the tattoo, the outfit, they aren't fooling anyone when they claim Raven wasn't inspired by Wesley Snipes and Blade. Or are we really supposed to believe it's a coincidence that the Vampire Hunter films happened to release right around the time Raven debuted in Tekken 5? Oh, it's so funny, Bright Eyes. <laughs> I'm expecting company. Furthermore, the bleach blonde hair is reminiscent of Snipes' role in Demolition Man. It seems no matter how you stick it, all of Raven's influences lead back to Snipes. Number 16, The Prince, Jared Leto, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. After the success of Sands of Time, the follow-up to this franchise's successful reboot changed more than just combat and level design. When the team sought to redesign the titular Prince, it seems they looked towards Hollywood. And no, it's not Jake Gyllenhaal. That wouldn't happen till 2010. The completely different face on the Warrior Within cover was hard to miss, especially since the updated version heavily resembled the short-haired Jared Leto. I want to see him. I've waited three days. He says none. 
Not even you. While there's never been any official confirmation either way, there's no denying the prince had some major plastic surgery between installments. Just as I have tried, and just as I have failed. I am sorry, Kaina. Number 15, Kratos, Edward Norton, God of War series. He may be a gosh slang Spartan hero, but this PlayStation staple's gritty design came from something a bit less fantastical. When developing Kratos' look for the first game, creator David Jaffe modeled him after Edward Norton's chilling performance in the film American History X. So you know what? I don't give two shits about you or anybody else or what you think. You're not a part of it and you never will be. While you can definitely pinpoint the visual influences in Kratos' pale skin and tattooed physique, the crime drama inspired more than just the demigod's appearance. Specifically, Jaffe wanted to replicate the imposing aggression Norton exuded in the role. His terrifying screen presence informed most of Kratos' personality, minus the whole godly quest for vengeance, of course. In fact, we as society grant cops a certain amount of authority to make those calls because we acknowledge that, that their job is difficult and dangerous. Number 14, Jinx, Helena Bonham Carter, League of Legends. Even in a roster chock full of iconic characters, this champion's psychotic disposition and penchant for oversized weapons made her an immediate standout. But designing her wasn't an easy feat, especially since the team refused to make her a pure sex symbol. Instead, they wanted to echo the eccentricity of someone like the Joker. Those lofty ambitions meant the character needed a muse who balanced both creepy and bizarre elements. <sighs> Enter Bonham Carter, who's made a career out of grounding some of the most wackadoo characters ever written. Her impressive physical commitment to each outlandish role was just what the team needed to develop Jinx's unhinged temperament. Number 13, Squall Leonhardt, River Phoenix, Final Fantasy VIII. Following a string of mega hits in the late 90s, this child actor turned superstar even caught the eye of Japanese game developers. Seemingly caught up in Phoenix's global brand recognition, longtime Final Fantasy character designer Tetsuya Nomura used the actor as inspiration for the first draft of Squall Leonhardt. While FF8's hero would eventually be given a scar and a cool jacket, there's still an undeniable resemblance. This wouldn't be the last time the franchise looked towards the states for ideas either. In the recent Final Fantasy XV, the physicality of leading man Noctis was based on the stage mannerisms of rock star Kurt Cobain. Number 12, Samus, Sigourney Weaver and Kim Basinger, Metroid series. Ellen Ripley's legendary galactic adventures inspired decades of no-nonsense heroines in cinema, but her influence even extended to video games. When the Metroid series needed a stoic female lead to ground the sci-fi gameplay, it was a no-brainer to look toward one of the genre's most iconic characters for ideas. But Weaver wasn't alone in inspiring Samus' likeness. To ensure the Zero Suit look didn't appear too gruff, the team took influences from actress Kim Basinger since she was less associated with science fiction. Though, for what it's worth, we still think Samus could take a Xenomorph in a fight. <laughs> Number 11, Ganondorf, Christopher Lambert. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. After over a decade dropping pixelated bombs and shooting 8-bit arrows, the Legend of Zelda series made the bold leap to 3D with the Ocarina of Time. The third dimension brought more than a few new angles to Hyrule's famous nemesis, though. Nintendo saw it fit to update Ganon from a traditional pig monster into a more intimidating humanoid figure. As inspiration, character designer Satoru Takizawa studied actor Christopher Lambert. 
whose roles in the Highlander film series made him stick out as a fantasy icon. <laughs> the new artistic direction marked Ganon's official evolution into Ganondorf, and with it a fresh design with facial features reminiscent of a certain well-known actor. <laughs> Number 10, Bayonetta, Sarah Palin and Tina Fey, Bayonetta Series. Just look at these women and try to tell us there's no resemblance. The distinctive face shapes and glasses practically speak for themselves. Despite no official source ever confirming the connection, it's certainly a unique origin for the character's looks, since Fey is primarily known for writing comedy and Palin is more into politics. Me? Um, well, Mark should have been home 20 minutes ago, and it's our poetry night, and really, I'm the last person you want watching your kids. But despite neither of them having guns in their heels, at least as far as we know, the likeness is difficult to ignore. At the very least, Faye and Palin take solace that they aren't known for the same kind of provocative movement that Bayonetta is. That is the road that America may find itself on. Number 9, Johnny Cage, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Mortal Kombat series. This gory fighting franchise has a knack for basing characters on well-known martial artists. But while we can't get enough of Liu Kang's Bruce Lee-inspired vocals, nothing is as much of a love letter to the source as Johnny Cage's creation. Following the release of the boxing film Bloodsport, the creative team hoped to license Van Damme himself as a fighter in the original arcade game. Looks like he's mine. Now leave the lady alone, you understand that? But the actor's refusal wasn't a fatality to the idea, and the Mortal Kombat creators instead developed Johnny Cage as a cheeky reference to their initial plans. His looks and general demeanor are practically ripped straight from the film. Because Johnny Cage flicks always have happy endings. Number 8, Ryder, Easy e Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Hey man, what you want? Seeing my home. What's up with you? Yeah, homies, yeah, yeah, it's good to see you back. No homie love? No huh? While being able to say you're the basis for a character in one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time is worth some serious street cred, this late rapper may not have been too pleased at the role he inspired. With a design that's the spitting image of former NWA member Eazy-E, also known as Eric Lynn Wright, Ryder serves as one of the less-than-responsible protagonists of the franchise's fifth entry. It's cause... I'm too intelligent for this shit, man. I am the real deal, fool. Befitting the lead character of this crime series, he's loud, impulsive, and even betrays his own friends in the name of a few bucks. Suffice it to say, this is far from a flattering depiction. Number 7, Solid Snake, Kurt Russell, Metal Gear Series. Konami can deny it all they want, but Snake is far from an innocuous name. Alongside that glaring point, Kurt Russell's character from the film Escape from New York also shares a physique and skill set with the elite undercover operative. But although the evidence is seemingly too damning to ignore, series creator Hideo Kojima still attests Snake's name was chosen due to the reptile's affiliation with stealth. Hey, you don't want to walk around down there, Snake. While that seems reasonable, it was immediately discounted when they gave Solid Snake an eye patch, doubling down on his resemblance to Russell's character. For a game about stealth, they sure didn't hide their influences very well. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Number 6, Travis Touchdown, Johnny Knoxville, No More Heroes series. Congratulations, you are now ranked 10th. 10th, huh? What, do I get anything? The hairstyle, the attitude, the sunglasses, yeah. This guy was based off Johnny Knoxville, all right. After all, Travis is just a normal guy who likes anime and wrestling, and who also works as a potty mouth assassin on the side. While his look is clearly evocative of the Jackass star, you can tell Knoxville's willingness to put himself in increasingly wild situations also influenced Travis's bizarrely entertaining hijinks. It's time to die, Mr. First Rank. You gotta be shitting me! No More Heroes isn't even the only game shaped by Knoxville's madcap behavior. The reality TV host also molded the personality for Nathan Drake of Uncharted fame. It's clear Knoxville has a monopoly on justifying any insane acts, and it sure does make for some great characters. 
Ready, set, go. <laughs> Number five, Tana, Pamela Anderson, Crash Bandicoot series. Prepare the female bandicoot. This actress's status as the quintessential sex symbol took America by storm, thanks to the unflinchingly scandalous approach of the lifeguard-themed Baywatch. Later, when developers for the first Bandicoot game wanted their own Princess Peach for Crash to lust over, they based the character off an actress that had already kept America's attention afloat before. Tana's big-chested and blonde hair debut is an obvious homage to Anderson's frequently sexualized appearance on her television series. However, this tribute wouldn't last. The character has undergone significant redesigns over the years to modernize her appeal, but her origins are still indebted to Anderson's iconic red bathing suit. Number 4. Andrew Ryan, Howard Hughes, Bioshock In the end, what separates? A man from a slave. Recognized as one of the most influential individuals in modern history, Hughes' wealthy contributions were cut short due to excessive paranoia that led to a secluded lifestyle in his final years. Sound kind of familiar? It should, because Hughes' tragic last act served as the basis for Ryan's motivation in the first Bioshock. You know, minus the underwater city part. The artist would not be insensitive, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. This antagonist's intense disillusionment is a clear parallel to Hughes's own dark downfall, and puts a sharper lens on the actions of one of gaming's most interesting villains. After all, who's to say Ryan or Rapture would have turned out any different from Hughes if Jack hadn't intervened? Obey! Number 3, Master Chief Clint Eastwood, Halo series. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. You'd think a protagonist who wears a helmet most of the time would be hard to develop as a character, but that hasn't stopped Master Chief from becoming one of the most recognizable figures in the genre. You can attribute that to the clever approach to this characterization, taking heavy cues from influential Clint Eastwood roles. The creative team studied the actor's ability to make a strong impression with only a few words. Tell me, you know where I can find him? Because Master Chief wouldn't speak much, each line had to really count. It seems this approach paid off, as even without much to say, Master Chief is inseparable from most players' view of the series. Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? Number 2, Balrog, Mike Tyson, Street Fighter series. You know you've gone too far when you start to worry about legal retribution. In the original Japanese version of Street Fighter 2, developers created a boxer-typed character named M. Bison in reference to the popular fighter Mike Tyson. I've, I've been a millionaire most of my life. I'm good. But when it was being localized for overseas audiences, concern over the legality of such an obvious imitation led to his name being swapped with a different character. Afterwards, for all titles in and out of Japan, the fighter was officially called Balrog. Technically, there's still an M. Bison in Street Fighter. It's just not the character you'd think. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sonic the Hedgehog, Michael Jackson and Bill Clinton, Sonic the Hedgehog series. A president, a pop star, and a hedgehog walked into a bar. And somehow an iconic video game character came out. While his trademark blue palette came from Sega's logo, Sonic's contrasting red shoes were inspired by Michael Jackson's juxtaposed use of the same colors in his album, Bad. For his personality, Sega looked to the current president of the United States, whose get-it-done attitude sparked the hedgehog's drive and impatience. It's a bizarre potluck of an origin but you can't deny the elements these celebrities brought influenced some of the most intrinsic parts of the character. The people who came before you and I 
had the change, they had the courage to do it, and I believe we will too on Tuesday. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.